Welcome to Levi Strauss for the first race of the season in the Pro Cup Series. On the pole, we got back Marco Joe and Mitchie Holmes. Then we got Eli Sasek and Charlotte Combs. Eddie Moore, Burn Rubber, Tropical Moon, Grayson Johnson, Charlie Wheelspin, Zachary Stecker, Ryan Mortensen, Hunter Rupp, Ricky Jocelyn, and Scott Roush, Gianni Marcello, and Nick Breeden, Samet Oskin, and Max Overdrive, Husky, and Philip Easler. Brian Reigns, Mikey Corbin, RJ Cherry, Zachary Fitzwater, and Bryson Collins, and Kit Kat Cub. So without further ado, let's get this thing underway, oh. shall we? Oh, I accidentally skipped a wolf. Whoops, sorry about that. Anyways, Beck Martha Joe is in the lead right now. And he's going to keep the lead as they go into turn number two. And into the final turn now. Charlie Wheelspin passing Zachary Stucker right there. Lap three now. Oh, Johnny Marcel with an issue. It's actually lap four, my bad. Um, but yeah, it looks like Backmarker Joe has built a little bit of a lead here. As the 155 of Michi Combs trying to track him down, Eli Sasek right behind them. And you have Shark Combs behind them. And behind him is any, any more Burn Rubber. And then you got Tropical Moon, Zachary Stecker. Grayson Jocelyn and Charlie Wheelspin is going to round out your top 10. 108 might become an issue here. No, he will not, but he was very close to causing something with the uh, 124 there. 124 is going to hang up on the high side. No issues whatsoever so far for that team. They've been hit holding that lead, and right now, point four separates the uh, top two right now. But you see that 108 of Gianni Marcello might be starting to cause some issues there. Um, right in between Michi Combs and Backmarker Joe. Our uh, Backmarker Joe does have a little bit of a lead. 108 might try to die from him, though, as they go into uh, turn number one this lap. No, he's gonna back off. He was right on his tail in uh, turn three, but he's not gonna this time. Yeah, he's gonna hold off in that 108 Uncle Jesse's truck. I mean, truck car. Um. But yeah, Michi Holmes, just cannot get by, is getting stuck behind this 108. This is where issues might occur. If he gets a little too over aggressive here and tries to pass this 108, so 108 definitely is slower. That's one thing for sure. Uh, he is actually one lap down, two lap down actually, fighting with the 155, and that is breaking up the battle a little bit. But right now, as we're on lap 13. There have been no yellows yet. Close racing in the back. I don't see any uh, too wide action though. Yet. They might go for it a little bit. Yeah, now it's about a second. Nobody's wrecked yet. Wow. Michi Combs still trying to get around the 108 of Gianni Marcello. 
getting held up. I don't know how much longer they can do this. And now the 108 is starting to lose pace a little. But nothing too bad yet. 124. Still your leader. Um. We'll run through the field there. As the 124 has built a huge lead, lap 19 now. And you see the 155 right there. 124 is still gonna hold on. This time, one second and 46 hundredths of a second. Sorry, my dogs are gonna bark in the background most likely. Especially when this door opens. I don't know what I'm gonna do about that, sorry. Probably could turn my mic audio down and we could just get a little audio. But yeah, sorry about that. Um. Haven't seen any passes for the lead yet. Looks like Backmarker Joe's been holding on since the start of this race. Yeah, my dogs might go off. I'm like a ticking time bomb. It's annoying, but you just have to get used to it. This is probably gonna happen a lot in this series. Thanks to my dogs. Woo. I love I love having a canine. Um are we under yellow? No. I thought they were slowing down for something. Oh, Eli Sasek. Right on that bumper. Oh, they touched. Wow, this is an intense battle for a uh, second here. Surprised they didn't do this earlier. My dog's about to erupt. <laughs> um, Eli Sasek's going to back off a little. He had a huge burst of momentum going there. But he's not going to get anything done with that. It's Backmarker Joe. Max Overdrive in the pits. I don't know what for, but he is in the pits. He was running in 25th. As the 124 has a huge lead, two seconds now. This is a pretty intense battle for third right here. As you see, Max Overdrive getting out of his pit stall there. Michi Combs still in second. Seems like the 108's just not gotten off the track since the start of this event. He's been there since like lap three and has never gotten off. But, the 124, still leading. Nothing else has really happened. They're starting to spread out, actually. Also, let me know in the comments if this is a little too choppy. This is the 30 FPS setting on OBS. But I'm running like 100. I just didn't want it to be too bad in the FPS scale. Maybe I'll start making these in 60 FPS for you 60 FPS fanatics. Oh, 177 right now, battling the 153 for what is 11th right now. We're more than halfway through this race now. Um. Right now, Ryan Mortensen and Hunter Rupp are going at it for 11th place. Nothing's going to happen there, though, I don't think. As we go back over to the uh, 124, he's approaching more lap traffic. This time it's Max Overdrive. This is his teammate, by the way. 
Max Overdrive is technically a teammate of this 124 car. Nothing going to happen there yet. Just not gotten there yet. And Michi Combs still in uh you know first there. I mean second. But yeah. No yellows yet. Will we have a caution free Levi Strauss race? That seems almost impossible to be honest. Now all the testing races I did here before this, they always wrecked on one lap or another. However, we're on lap 38 of 60, I don't know. Oh, two wide battle. What position is this? This is for tw a 19th, actually. This is the most intense battle on in the whole entire track right now. As it settles down, I think. Oh no, Scott Roush is still up there on that high line. Trying to get by. Just cannot. Oh, he overdrives it a little. He nearly hits the wall, but that was perfect. That was a perfect corner for him. Up on the high line. Watch out. I don't know if they're going to make it through the next corner. Oh, 105 backs off. Grayson Collins does not want to cause a wreck. Yet. Um. But yeah, they're too wide right here. This is for 20th now. Oh. 101 still up there. But he's probably going to fall back now. No, he's not. He's still going at it. As we have not seen a battle yet. Did the 108 get out of the way? I think the 108 got out of the way. No, he did not. But still, this is tightening up. I think Max Overdrive is starting to make the uh, 124 slower. But yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if there's a uh, caution now because there's a close group of race cars on the circuit now. There they are right there. More two wide battles. This is for 24th though between Kick Pack Cup and what I believe to be Mikey Corbin. Oh, caution! Ricky jo Oh! Ricky Jocelyn and RJ Cherry get into each other. The caution is out. I wonder how that happened. Huh, that's weird. They just wrecked. There's that caution I was talking about. This could actually change everything now that we're three quarters in the race. Okay, so let's see what happened here. Oh, the 193 of Audrey Cherry hits the wall, gets into Ricky Jocelyn. Jocelyn hits the inside wall, comes back back up into RJ Sherry and the 109 of Zachary Fitzwater what great wreck avoidance there he does bend shit by look at this BAM that's what caused fatal damage to that 168 there and you see the 108 nearly into the wall but drifts to get out of that wall and they're gonna file back out now. 124 is going to be your leader. You know, are the lights gonna go out on the pace car? They are not going to. Not that lap. This lap they do. So back marker Joe. Gianni Marcello. He's gonna stay there. 22 cars on the lead lap. 168 has gone behind the wall for good. Here we go, green flag. And this could change everything. We could have another yellow very easily. Nothing's going to happen yet, but the 170 of Zachary Stecker does get into the wall a little bit there. And three wide. Zachary Fitzwater, Bracing Collins, and Scott Roush. Oh, they're racing super close together now. As backmarker Joe has a little bit of a lead right now. 
Uh, Gianni Marcello has still not gotten out of the way. RJ Cherry and Burn Rubber are racing pretty close together. I don't know why Cherry's racing Rubber that hard, but he is. Cherry's going to drop back a little, I think. Tropical Moon trying to get by now. Ryan Mortensen and Charlie Wheels been going at it. Oh! Braden moved out of the groove! Oh! Zachary Fitzwater! Oh! Hard hit! Caution is out! And again, a card is going around. Let's see what happened that time. Alright, so, uh, looks like Sam Austin hit the wall a little bit there. I don't know what happened to him. And Zachary Fitzwater gets turned because of it. Nobody else hits him, but then bam! That's critical damage, that number, uh, yeah, look at that car. I want to see that on board. He's this up ahead of him. Bam! That must have hurt. Um, but yeah. Now we could start with, if we start at all. Oh, no, I missed it! <laughs> and, sorry about that. But, that Marker Joe is going to win the race. Who's gonna make it to second? Michi Holmes. And in a turn of events, Charlotte Holmes. A, one, a th two and three for uh, that team there. 155 and 115 on the same team. They will both manage to get in uh, second and third. And then you got any more? Burn Rubber, Tropical Moon, Ryan Mortensen, Grayson Jocelyn, Charlie Wheelspin, and Zachary Stecker. That is your top 10 for this race. And here are your results. Um, pause if you want to see these. Uh, congratulations to Backmore for Joe, who wins the Levi Strauss 200. And good luck.